Greetings, everybody. You now stand in front of the great Yodabashi camera of the Nishi Shinjuku side of the station. This is an institution of electronics. Yodabashi camera being my favorite camera shop, I own a gold card here, which is basically just a point card, nothing special. Hey, everybody. I've decided to come this time for the live stream and bring you not just to this intersection, but to walk around this area, not to go inside of Yodabashi Camera, but look at some of the electronics here. Now this building, Yodabashi Camera, started in 19, the, the company itself started in 1960, but Yodabashi Camera um, opened this location in 1975. So that's quite a long time ago. That's a, uh, I was born one year before it opened, which I'm kind of proud of, but this shop has, has a lot of history to it. So does this company. Um, this is a place that you come. If you really are looking for anything camera or electronics based, Shinjuku is one of the places. Akihabara is the other one where they have a super mega store. But the one here in Shinjuku is, it's an institution. It's just really, really famous. And there's different kind of buildings. As the company grew, they started buying more and more real estate. You can see there's the main one. And then they just bought the building next door. Um, I, I, forget, I don't know what year exactly, but this became the camera pavilion. And up there, you'll find all sorts of camera gear, um, usually at discounted prices. And we're gonna walk around this neighborhood because Yodabashi Camera kind of put this place on the map for electronics. And as a result, just look at the street right in front of us. It's so cool. This is one of the most iconic views in the city. And I might come back here and do another live stream in the future. Let's just walk around this building here. It looks like it's gonna rain, by the way. Some people have got their umbrellas out. So, uh, let's see how this live stream goes. <laughs> but I remember when I first came to Tokyo many, many years ago, this was one of the first stops to buy camera stuff that I wanted to get. They didn't have digital cameras in 1998, not so much. So uh, I was able to get like memory sticks and things like that for the first digital cameras way, way, way back. They have something called a Yodabashi Gold Card, and it gives you 10% off of the price. But I heard that if, you, if you're just here temporarily, getting a point card doesn't make a lot of sense, so you could ask them for a discounted price. And more often than not, they're, they're, they'll be okay and just give you the 10% back off of the listed price. Here's air conditioners because the summer's about to start. I like the way they put it right off of the street like this. So. This area, Shinjuku, has a, such a high population of people walking by it. So much so that this is new. Whoa, this is new. I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing these gachapons, toy capsule jungle, they call it. I've never seen this before. How cool is this? All right, let's take a look quickly. Uh, you know what, let's go around the building really quick and then we'll come back here and do, maybe do some gachapon. I just wanna take you around here. It's super cool, this area, I know. This used to be where a lot of people would get their smartphone digital uh, pictures printed out. You would just walk by and say, I want a, a picture printed. And you'd be able to print it up really quickly there. Oh, you can see inside the store here. Oh, it, they've, they've moved the gist to this side now. So if you have a digital picture, you have a smartphone, you want to print out your Tokyo pictures, you can do it for about 30 yen for a 2L size or 60 yen for a uh, double size. And that's right here. You can see uh, L size, the difference between L size and 2L size. And you can print them all from these machines here and decorate them. It's pretty cool. But not a lot of people have a use for, a, um, for copies of their photos these days. What do you guys think? Oh, and by the way, this music, it will stick in your head until the end of time. You will go to sleep six hours later and you'll be humming this song. Da, na, 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 na. It's so addictive. Big camera is also very, very addictive. It's awful. It's so good, it's awful. You hear it? I know, this can't be copyrighted, Eric. Could they copyright that? We're gonna find out. It's okay if they copyright that. I'm a, I'm a fan of theirs, so I, I don't know. I don't think they copyrighted their song, did they? You think like Sony Music would come after me? That's a Sony Music song, but Yodabashi Camera, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is the backside of it. Um, 
we're gonna go the electronic district this sort of the fringe there electronics districts of Shinjuku is pretty much on the Nishigushi side towards the city hall the uh, Tokyo to um, office building which is I'll show it to you it's just over here on this side but walking around the building you can see just how big Yodabashi camera is so this is the back side of it and it looks like they have some kind of a game center which I've never seen before but they also own this building behind it, which is crazy. This is a another game center. It's five floors of, oh wow, they have educational toys, toys, um, Gundam, plastic models, figures, more Gundam. They have a whole building like basically to toys behind the main building. That's crazy. I'm kind of learning this too for the first time. Very, very cool, very, very cool place to go. More gacha palm behind here. What an amazing vibe that Tokyo has. Check this out here. This is also the game center. So I guess they have like arcade games in there. There's a pretty cool Nintendo uh, PlayStation game. That's not Nintendo. Nintendo's over there on the other side. Very cool. You can see in here, they're selling lots and lots of games. I guess it'd be an, a uh, competitor to some of the game places in Akihabara, like Super Potato, but this is all new stuff. Nothing's used. Noto Saplen is writing in educational toys. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. What are they learning education-wise? Wow, look at the graphics on this. That's insane. It's insane. It's a good old Nintendo. I love that they put this right outside on the street. You can watch this. One of these days, I'm gonna get permission from Yorobashi Camera to take you inside. Hey, Mr. Das, nice to see ya. There's also a Sega World back here. And again, one of the reasons why they put a lot of these um, amusements is because there's a lot of salarymen that finish their jobs. They walk by here and say, I just need a break. I need, I need a win. I need to do a UFO catcher and I need to win this Dragon Ball Z G I the GT there it is so you can get this all oh that's kind of cool check out this you can win this in a UFO catcher wow that's cool how cool is that very cool Ajum this dream is gonna make me so happy. Oh yeah. It's just right now, it's the rain is starting to come down. I'm hoping it holds out for just a little bit longer. VJ's in the house, how you doing? Wow, There's, I, they do more than electronics. They have a travel, this is Toraberu, travel con, which is suitcases and luggages and I gotta, a message from somebody asking me where I would buy a suitcase in Tokyo this is one of the options I mean you can come here and look and they've got a pretty good variety of luggage from cheap to expensive inside this travel con con meaning like center that kanji there this means like a center kaikan meeting meeting place so you can buy tons of stuff and you, you get 13% off and it's also tax free so it's even cheaper for um, for foreign tourists oh this is this new um, translator thing so anyone who's thinking of maybe they won't be able to speak Japanese they can get one of these things and it will help you a lot uh, apparently this source next one is a little bit better than than uh, some of the other options and definitely better than Google Translate it's pretty cool what is the price on this one this is Saman Sama Nisen Nanahyaku. So it's about 30,000 yen, or about $300. And they have a cheaper one for twenty for about $250. But, you know, it's there. I bet you you can find a place to rent rent that. That's where we started the live stream, just over there. Um, Yorubashi Camera owns that building, too. And in between here, where all the electronics are, there's also a ton of restaurants. A lot of izakaya. Again, a lot of people coming from not just the city hall, which is right there. Do you see that big, big, tall building in the center of your screen? Not just all the office workers that are coming from there. They go through here to get the Shinjuku station. 
but it's a lot of other office buildings in this area. People walk through here in this little teeny center that we're in. It's like an island of electronics and shops. This is also where you're going to find one of my favorite shops for camera gear. And if you're a camera otaku, how you doing? Going? If you're a camera otaku, you're gonna know this shop right up there. Check it out. You see that? That's the headquarters for mapcamera.com. And if you, if you are a camera um, otaku or camera geek like me, you're gonna know this, this location. Inside there are floors and floors of used camera gear. And they sell a lot of new cameras as well. And I don't think I've ever seen a video where they showcase where Map Camera is actually based, but it's behind Yorobash Camera. And uh, there's also a buying center where they will check out used gear and give you a pretty good price for it. But Map Camera is up there and I've been there many, many times looking for used camera equipment, lenses, things that are cheaper to buy used than just renting it. Sometimes it's easier just to buy it used. I'm so passionate about my Shinjuku Electronics District. <laughs> you should be. It's a cool place. Straight ahead is the Shinjuku Central Post Office. Probably the biggest post office in Tokyo. It's massive inside of there. And if you ever want to send a package, that's the easiest place to do it. Um, Tokyo has an international post office, which is open on Sundays as well. Some good information for you. Lots and lots of izakayas. Again. Yodabashi Camera owns this building here. They've literally just started owning this entire island on the, on the um, Nishi side. This is on Nishiguchi, the Nishi exit of uh, Shinjuku. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's walk a little bit down this way. Five floors of watches. It's insane. It really is crazy, isn't it? I, I need a drink, guys. Let's let's hit a vending machine right now. What do you think? Anybody? We got a lot of choices at this corner. Sometimes I just go for the Tansan Sui. Tansan Sui means um, carbonated water. Um Hmm, it's a good choice, good choices. What's this? Creamy sauce. This is coffee jelly. Oh, this is grape jelly. It's kind of gross. Um, Mets black, I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Tropicana, cola, eh, I'm not really a cola guy. I gotta be honest with you. Sparkling Aquarius. Aquarius is um, the Gatorade of Japan. Sparkling Gatorade, just imagine. Mr. Das, I would totally look for a beer vending machine, but I don't think they have any around here. I'll tell you what, I will find, if I can find an Asahi Super Dry, I will absolutely get one because I've had, I've had a really long day. Um, apple tea? Green tea? These two green teas are different. This one is more koi like stronger strong green tea oh it does say it down at the bottom that stuff's got so much caffeine it'll knock you out you'll just get super high off of the caffeine and then pass out i'm gonna avoid that you know i'm just gonna go for um i don't know i don't see anything i like daido blend coffee no i don't i don't see anything let's look for the super dry let's look for the super dry Whoa! This is a Kochiken shop. This is that's Ryoma. I just saw Ryoma in um in uh, just like 24 hours ago in Kochi. That's Ryoma. So that's Sakamoto Ryoma. This is like uh, what? Tata so is do they have tataki here? Oh my, I'm still coming back here with Kanai. Yes, they do. This is in Shinjuku. They have tataki here. What? No way. All right, I'm going to see if I can go inside a little bit. All right, let's just take a look at this menu. I had no idea. So they have a, a coach prefecture restaurant in Shinjuku. This is too cool. Oh, wow. And there's some really good seafood here. 
and the prices are pretty reasonable. It looks fun inside. I gotta be honest with you. I might just jump in here. I look just Sakamoto um, Yoma, this is crazy. I was just there. Look, I just showed you that in a live stream, in the, in the last live stream. They were doing this. Oh my word. Ah uh, yes, yeah, map camera. SC writes in map cameras to closing kiss scene location for Lost in Translation. I, I, I don't doubt that it was here. This is one of the brightest um, and most uh, like energetic area of the city. I can feel the energy from the uh, this, this side of it. But they have tataki here. It's a lot more expensive. This is shio tataki. It's about $12, but you get a good portion of the seared bonito. That's amazing. Wow. This is great. Oh. Eh, no restaurant this car. Pere, Kochken no restaurant, Kochken Yori. So, Koch no Walayaki no Yori. Walayaki. Oh, Tataki mo aru. Aru. Ato, Kutu no Itakaya no menu mo aru. Oh, Chen desu ka? Chen de, Hana no Mai Chen. Ah, Hana no Mai Chen. Hana no Mai Chen. Tata, Kono Walayaki no Mise wa, Denkoku de Kotoko da ke. Ah. あ、そうなんだ。てかめっちゃ日本語上手だね。あ、まあ、東京に住んでる。あ、住んでるんだ。めっちゃうまい。そうなんだ。コチ食べちゃう。本当に勝つ食べたの。いいな。美味しかったよ
one of the most purchased gifts in Japan are、uh, pharmaceutical stuff like eye drops and、uh, sorry to the kids there, condoms. These are things that I don't know why, but they're, they rank in the top 10 t- or 20 in gifts from Japan. In fact, if you go to the airport, you'll see these things stocked up. For people to buy as gifts. I know it sounds, it sounds weird, but I don't, know, I don't know why. I guess Japan is the thinnest and the smallest and the. I don't know. Don't want to ask too many questions. But、um, pharmaceuticals are something that people buy a lot of from Japan to take back. It could be just from the other countries, but these are Genki drinks that will give you a little bit of pep. So if you're going to be playing a, a game marathon, you might want to have one of these or two of these stacked up so you don't run out of energy. Here's another chain. We're about two hours away from sunset, so in about two hours, the street's really gonna come more alive. Right now, people are still working in the offices. So if you stay in Shinjuku, a lot of people, a lot of people will, a lot of people will stick to the golden guy side. They'll stick to the side where Kabuki Cho is. But my favorite side of Shinjuku is right here, this electronics district, because there's so many different shops all in one area. Kabuki, Kabuki Cho is a little bit spread out. This is all like an, I, I like to consider Nishiguchi like an island, because it's all in one really concentrated area. Look at this, this is, this is insane. It's like a shop on top of a shop. There's three or four different restaurants all in this one little complex. What the heck is this? Cheese Takarubi. It's a cheese, beef and cheese skillet. That's insane. How do they come up with this stuff? Beef and cheese skillet. Oh, look at that Hanjuku Tamago, baby. Those half boiled eggs on top of pasta? What? Look at that combination. Do you see the spaghetti? All right, we're gonna give you some cheesy spaghetti with a little bit of meat. And then we're just gonna put a half boiled egg on top of it because, you know, that's what we do. It's not, it's, it, half boiled eggs make things just a little bit better. Look at the oil on there. Do you see that? Oh man. Getting hungry looking at this. Advice when you come to Japan, and if you're a Westerner, you're gonna have an urge. Actually, if you're just not Japanese, you're gonna have an urge to go to McDonald's. Fight that urge. Do not eat McDonald's more than once. I'll give you a ticket for one time. Fight that urge and be adventurous and walk into places like this. At first, it can seem intimidating, and you might be afraid of the language barrier, but there's English menus here, and if you don't have allergies or food allergies, try some new stuff and be adventurous because. Japanese food is incredible, and you find really diverse menus. That last place, the Ryoma place, also has regular izakaya food as well as the kochi、uh, cuisine. They probably have 150 things on the menu there. Try to be adventurous, and that's when you're going to discover things that you didn't know existed. And, and、uh, really, okay, this is a ramen place that I've heard of before. Ichi Ryu, since 1955. I think it's,、um, let's see here. Yeah, Ichiryu is one of, one of the big chains here. Just a counter space. Oh, look at that chashu. The meat's popping out of the bowl. What? That's insane. Look at that. Stay away from all the food that you already know and try something different. Be adventurous. Look at that chow han. It's black, black yaki chow han. What is that? I guess they add in some other good stuff. Taste, the flavor. It's, oh man, look at that chashu popping out of the bowl. Ah,、oh, how much is that bowl? How much, what's the price on that? Oh, it's, a, it's like $10. Yeah, it's about $10 for that. That's reasonable. I can do that. $10 for that. All right, this must be an electronics district. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Let's go check out that gachapon.
This way we're going. Behind me is the government building. You can see that right there. It's got a free observation deck. So if you're thinking about paying for like uh, $40 or, or more to go to the top of Tokyo Sky Tree, fight that as well and go here. It's free. And I did a live stream about six months ago on um, the uh, Bunkyo Ward Civic Center, which has the best observation deck in the entire city. It's free. Oh my word. Here's the map for Yodabashi camera and all the complexes that they have. It goes to the letter W. And it's, a, it's an entire building dedicated to watches. Oh, jeez. That's incredible. And this building here is dedicated to SIM cards. So I think if you're looking for it, you're going to find it. Let's go over, since I don't think there's a live stream that will ever do this, let's go over their complex in total. So building A, cell phone accessories. Building B, I don't see it. I guess I went out of business. Building C is the camera pavilion where we are right now. And they have even an event space here. That's pretty crazy. Um, building F, a repair counter. So that you know you're gonna get some good services. Building M is a smartphone pavilion with bargain prices. There's a South Pavilion, a, media, a uh, multimedia pavilion. Uh, building N is the North Pavilion. I guess that's why they called it N. And that has LED lights. Oh man, Strange Part Scotty would love this one. He went to the one in Akihabara, not here. This has light fixtures, washing machines, air conditioners, refrigerators, portable audio, TV recorders, beauty and health, PC and Mac, and other paraphernalia. And then where we passed, we've passed these two, is the T building is the travel pavilion, and then the hobby and toys pavilion. And Ampaman represents on the fifth floor, and Ampaman was created in Kochi Prefecture. There's so much Kochi Prefecture here. You just have to know. Trading cards? There's a floor for trading cards? What? What? I don't know. But the history starts with one building in, 19, in 1975. And Yorubashi Camera, is, it's just incredible how fast that they've grown and how strong they are. Big Camera is their competitor, and I don't think it's as, as big, but Big Camera has a pretty good... And then you can find a new GoPro. That's history. They're gonna have Series 8 out soon to compete with the DJI, um, DJI action that just came out. And there you go. That's pretty much it in 30 minutes. The camera con is right here. This is the camera pavilion, camera center. And this is where you're gonna find on the first floor a ton of all the new cameras that are out. They usually have the newest stuff the day it goes on sale here, which is cool. You can walk in and just buy it and it's and get 10% off if you have a, a point card. Just or you, you can get the money back. Binoculars. But it's the second floor. If you're looking for if you're looking for pro level uh, cameras, you're gonna have to go to the second floor, and they have consumer stuff on the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor, I believe. Pro level tripods, pro level camera equipment, massive like ten thousand dollar lenses. They have all that stuff in there. Look at that building. It is just every floor is an advertisement. <laughs> oh jeez, I love it. I love the vibe around Shinjuku's uh, Nishiguchi. Let's go around the corner. Oh, this is where I believe the map camera buying center, if you're going to sell camera equipment, is around here. It's on this side. But all of those signs up there are restaurants. These are all restaurants. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, sixth floor. Some are local, some are chains. And in about two hours, this place is going to be buzzing with uh, business people off of work. If you'd like me to buy a gachapon, click that like button right now. This is an audience, an audience participation. Um, live stream. So if you'd like gotcha pawn, click the like button. Don't click it twice because you're unliking your like. 
just saying. All right, we're on this side. Let's, let's just see the choices we have. All I know is that three years ago, four years ago when I did the first gachapon, there were some gachapon in Tokyo. But since then, they've completely, completely, I don't, I don't think I had any impact on that, maybe a little bit, but gachapon has just exploded, especially for foreign inbound tourists. That's kind of neat. So slippers, get that for my brother's daughters. I don't see too many things I'm interested in. All right, we're gonna go to the other side then. I think there was some more stuff. You see anything you like? All right, these are okay. Let's go to the other side. I think there's more traffic and they're gonna put better, better things on that side. A lot of Conan, did you see that? All right, I'm gonna get one gachapon for Kanai because um, according to uh, Ramsey Silent, never go home empty-handed. Oh wait, I don't have any coins. I might just buy a drink so I can get the coins. Hold on. Uh, okay, we gotta buy a drink. All right, let's do this. This is the part of the live stream where I just start buying stuff. All right. I just start buying stuff because Dr. Pepper. What? I haven't had that forever. Uh, never take me to Starbucks. I will stand there for 10 minutes, even though I know what I want. Never ever take me to Starbucks. It's awful. It's a terrible experience. You'd think it'd be fun. Oh, I like want to hang out with John. It's not. It's awful. You're just going to stand there and wait with me as I, as I can't decide between something that I want and something that I, I don't want. I, I just stand there going, well, maybe I want this one today. No, no, no. Forget it. The best thing is just to leave Starbucks. Go to the convenience store where you have one choice, coffee. And uh, even, even then, though, recently they got a couple more choices. All right, this looks interesting. This kind of tea, it seems to have a lot of stuff in it. I'm going to try it. I'm sorry, I've been looking for the Asahi Super Dry. I can't find, I can't find it. Oh, now we're ready for some gacha palm. All right, this is interesting. It looks healthy, I thought, you know, I've been eating a lot of fried foods. Advance, it says. Adubansu. Advance. Good for your body. Karada. Okay. If you say so. Tea is good for you. Ah. That's so good. It's got a little bit of, of kick to it. A lot of grains. A lot of grains in that. It's good. It's good balance of grains and uh, tea. Tastes healthy. All you Coca-Cola lovers. Hold on. All right, we're good. All right, let's go check it out. We got cash now. Let's support our friend's Yodabash camera. Oh, there it is. They, got a, they still got a few in there. This is where you can print out photos. If you have a smartphone, you took some pictures or an SD card, you can print out photos there for, I don't know, like 25 cents a photo. All right, let's see what they got. This is the capsule toy jungle. The other one was just on the side of the building. This is the, the jungle area. Let's, let's get Kanai something good. Oof. More Conan stuff. Oh, there's some Dragon Ball Z. Look, I'm packing some, I got some coins. Come on, give me something good. I'm willing to pay a little bit extra for something good. What is that? Like a lovable Pokemon Poka Poka Biori. That's like a really lovable Pikachu. It, it, the, these are cute. I think Kanai might like that. 
Do you think we get the, the lovable Pokemon, the lovable Pikachu? Pikachu's pretty lovable as he is, but with hearts and roses. All right, that's so far what I'm going for, unless I can find something better. Oh, I can get Kanai a new watch. What do you think? Kanai could use a new watch. What do you think of these designs? Minnie likes them. That's 300 yen or about, I don't know, three dollars. So far, Pokemon, I think Pokemon's still winning. Disney friends? It's interesting. Could always use more friends. That's cute down there. Sumiko Gurashi. I guess they're squishy toys? Three dollars a squishy toy. Oh, here we go. We're getting into the weird. Mushrooms. You know who would love that? Lincoln. Lincoln liked the the uh, poison mushroom ones that, that we had at, in Akihabara. Lincoln's um, the What's Inside. He does a channel called What's Inside. So you can get the different colors of mushrooms. That's, that's kind of weird. I don't think Kanai would like that. Nah. Kanai likes animals. That's a, this is possible. This is 400 yen. They look pretty lifelike. Whoa. I guess the, ard the ant eater is the one you want to get. <laughs> Everyone's going for the ant eater. SC, unless, unless there's an explicit international warranty from the manufacturer, I would not bother buying expensive new Japanese electronics. Um, that's true. I think the big makers usually have an international warranty. Panasonic's usually do. But I haven't had too many problems. Most of, most of the electronics that break are the ones with moving parts in it. Um, and now everything's like an SSD, like, like a hard drive or something like that. Um, um, solid state drives and things without moving parts. They usually last pretty good, but a camera? I don't know. It's, unless you really, unless you're coming from like a third world country, I, I think the US still is still a better camera market to buy from. In fact, I usually will buy expensive equipment from B&H in New York and have it shipped or picked up, pick it up when I go to New York. Alright, we're going, I guess we're gonna go for this Pikachu. I can't find anything. I better do it quickly because this music's driving me crazy. You hear it one time, cool, two times, eh, three times, four times, that's when you start losing your mind. Alright, here it is. Alright, Kanai, we're gonna get you one of these Pikachu squishies! Yay! Kanai's at home going, don't do it. I don't want it. But it's from me. It's from us. What? You want to, is my money not good enough? Take my money. All right, took it. Right, let's do this here. All right, took my money, okay. Let's do this here. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it's small. It seems so much more lifelike in the picture. Maybe it expands. All right, let's open it up, see what we got here. Go for broke. We are getting that Pikachu. <laughs> I could probably clean out this machine, Tyler. Oh, that's cute, but that's not the one I wanted. All right, let's let's go for one more. All right, we're going for one more. Actually, according to Tyler, the keyword is go for broke. Ah! I only have 500 yen. I wish that that vending machine gave me um, more. Okay, hold on a second. All right, I didn't get the one I wanted. You don't give up, you just try again. That's what we do. All right, so Tyler, I'm going to ask for change. Let's see here. Uh, I don't, I only have a fiver. 
Let's see if we can make some change. I'm gonna ask. They're gonna help me. Sumasen. <laughs> We're in business now. Check it out. Check out the seats. Do you see the seats for the KO bus? They're Pokemon seats. How awesome is that? Alright, it was destiny that we're gonna try and get the Pokemon, the uh, Pikachu. Alright, Tyler, we're going for broke. I got, I got some more ammunition here. We're gonna get that happy... We're gonna get that happy one. So we have this one already. All right, let's do it. We got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, in this. Thanks, our friend Tyler. I'm having fun. Gotcha, gotcha, boom. Dude, we did it. What? Dude, we did it. Dude, 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 dude. What? Okay. It's Pikachu. I wasn't really excited about this, but I didn't think it would ever happen. Hold on, I'm putting the I'm putting the tripod on. It's Pikachu. This is awesome. I never get what I want. I always get what I don't want. It's awesome. That's pretty cool. And he's got roses. Tell her you love her with Pikachu. All right, this next one here, I'm gonna do one more. This is too fast. This is for Tyler, all right? We love you, man. How you doing? <laughs> I love your videos. <laughs> oh, so thank you. What's your name? My name's Constantine. What's your name? My name's Constantine. Constantine? Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm live streaming now. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Alright, Constantine, we're going for this um, Pikachu again. Oh, cool. Alright, let's do this. Do you want to do it? Sure, <laughs> <laughs> Let's have Constantine do it. All right, we're hoping for another Pikachu, but our luck cannot be that good. Yeah, do it. Gotcha, gotcha, pong. What do you think? Who could it be? Could be. It could be anything. Those are our choices. I know. <laughs> Where are you from, Constantine? I'm from Germany. Okay. Thanks for being on, being on the show really yeah, quickly. I didn't ask you, but... Th thanks for letting me, though. Not at all. Whoa. All right, this is part of the collection. Carefully open it. Nice. Very cool. So this one is... Hold on a second. Uh, Bata Furi. Bata Furi. Yeah, Bata Furi. So that's Bata Furi. So we got three out of five. Oh, it just means like butterfly in Japanese? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, Bata Furi. What is Bata Furi? It means butterfly in Japanese. All right, so Tyler, that's for you. Appreciate it. That's pretty cool. Do you do a lot of gacha palm? First time. Really? Yeah, first time. Wow. Is there anything that you like? Um, no, but I heard um, or saw on one of uh, 
many videos on YouTube that there is a gacha pan machine for like old chips. Yeah. Like FM chips. Is a yeah. Machine. My was friend Scotty. No, yeah, my friend Scotty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed him where the machines were. Actually, he yeah. found it on his own. I didn't show yeah. it. I need to go there. I really need to. Do you know to. where it is? Um, I wrote it somewhere down. It's right, somewhere in Show me on the Google map. I gotta take. Do you mind? I'm sorry. Yes. I gotta take this sure. for Tyler. Right. Tyler, I'm gonna send this to you. If, if I, I think I know your address, I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. I'm gonna send you something from from the live stream. So, what just happened is actually real. You will know. <laughs> I'll show you on the. I'll show you on the uh, Google map. So the guy who the guy who's there is now like a friend of ours. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna move to this map here. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna turn off traffic. We're gonna to go to Akihabara. Let's see here. Hiracho Akihabara. Yeah, there it is. So it's on this side. So this is Chuo Avenue. That's mm -hmm. the one with the bridge where the, the train goes over it. Okay. Do you know Akihabara? No, never been there. Oh, never? His shop, if you go. It's right here. This is where you'll find the machine. There's a Sega World okay. right there. Uh -huh. It's this one right there. Perfect. Yeah, if you go inside that building mm -hmm. on the first floor okay. is the um, vending machine for, for chips and boards. It's crazy. Nice. And the guy, the guy in front of the shop, he, he speaks just a little bit of English. But tell them like Scotty and John sent you. And Scotty maybe, and John, okay, okay. Maybe maybe he'll show you some other some other sure. stuff in there. Spread the love, you know. <laughs> yeah, awesome. maybe maybe so. How long are you here in Japan for? Um, almost two weeks. Okay. And we're leaving on Thursday, so it's not that much of a time. But we saw a few things, which was nice. Yeah. We've been to Okinawa. And okay. Rode some motorbikes there, which is cool. Oh wow! So you have yeah. an international driver's license? Yeah, we got it on the first day. Because uh, if you fly east, you should avoid jet lag. Ah. And it was so hard staying up, and we're just at the hotel, and it's like, okay, no sleep, no sleep. You just stay awake, stay awake. And it's like, okay, well, then get the translation done. And so we went there, no internet, so it was a bit of an adventure going there, but we did it. Yeah. We got it, and it worked perfectly. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun to have the driver's license. Do you guys have any questions for Constantine? <laughs> Don't worry, no one's watching. 670 people. Oh my god, you shouldn't have said that. No, Ishwone in Bavaria. Oh, nice! <laughs> ich bin aus München. Also, I'm from Munich, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, Kanai and I were there at Christmas time. What a beautiful city. You're lucky. <laughs> I wish I could live in... Kanai and I want to go back to Munich. Uh, anything else? Does he know he has a comic book named after him? Um, well, yeah, it's a, it's a movie, I guess. Because the first time I went to the US and everyone asked me what my name was, they all uh, wrote it with an E at the end. And so every time I'm in the US, I say, it's like the movie, but without an E at the end, and bang, everyone knows my name. <laughs> so, Very cool. That, that, that's so good. Uh, Steven from Frankfurt. From Frankfurt, hi. How you doing? Uh, are you traveling alone? Uh, no, I'm with... with a friend of mine, but he's in a hotel right now, so... All right. What do Germans think of Japan? That's a very general question. Can, it's is so there a... different. Like, yeah. um, I mean, Munich is a beautiful city and all, but it's 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 not a city if you compare it to, like, Tokyo or even uh, Okinawa or something, because it's so small and we have a law in Munich that um, bans, like, tall buildings. Yeah. So no skyscrapers there. Frankfurt has some. As this guy probably yeah, Steven knew, does, but yeah. Munich, like one or two or something. Yeah. But that's it. And so coming here was like so over. Like, <laughs> I, and I feel like an alien. Like, they really do. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's cool. It's, oh, yeah, so it's, it's your first time. time. Yeah, it's first oh, time. Yeah, yeah. I love my first time. I, I, first, I, time I was Japan, first time. First awesome. time in Asia. So. Everything's very colorful. So you're just walking around, eh? Yeah, I'm like camera nerd. So, ah, did you go to Map Camera? Uh, yeah, yeah. Map Camera was awesome. Uh, Alps Camera and some of the stuff that um, Japan Camera Hunter um, yeah. re re recommended. He has like a whole 
oldest and stuff like that, so that was cool. Yeah, Shinjuku is kind of underrated. A lot of people will go to um, Akihabara for camera equipment. Probably this is a little bit better. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you found me. Hi. How are you? Jack. What's your name? Jack. Jack. Yes. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Denmark. Okay. I'm one of your patrons. Oh. One of your, uh, one of your oh yeah 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 yeah. Thank you. Let's Do you have any gamble dance? Uh, I, I always ask when someone's from Denmark. I'm like Gamel Dansk. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Actually, what? that was small. Gift. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh, this. Okay. It's uh, for uh, what do we call it? Uh, oh, very Tutu. cool. Yeah. Thank you. All the way from Denmark. They're pretty old too. Actually, it's from my grandma. Actually. Really? Are you sure this is okay? Yeah. Wow. A lot more of them. Thank you, buddy. How's your trip in Japan going? It's great. Let me put this here. It's weird. <laughs> now we got now we got like a show going on here. <laughs> a whole party going on here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we got about we got a small audience out. I think the like you both of you speak more than one language, of course, English and your native language, and maybe other languages. People in Denmark can speak s some a little Swedish and Norwegian, sort yeah, of similar. Yeah, a little bit. There are some similarities. We can normally communicate with our neighbors with them without uh, great problems. Yeah. So would it be easy to pick up Japanese? Do you think, Constantine? Have you been able to pick up any? I I learned a few hiragana and it went quite well. Um, but only like the most, so, but it helps a little bit. But then every time I read something in Hiragana, I think, oh, cool, I read it, and then it spelled out <laughs> like a, a normal letters for me. So it's like, ah, I think it's. <laughs> So is it, it, have you found it difficult to travel alone as a solo traveler in Japan? No, it's been pretty easy. I use uh, Shinkansen and uh, the Japan Rail Pass helps a lot. Yeah. Also, if you make a mistake, you just jump to another train and get back without thinking of the price or anything. Have it makes had, it a lot easier. Yeah. Have you had any challenges or difficulties? Um, Experiences? Horror stories? Not really. Not what I remember, at least. Yeah, <laughs> those are the ones you want to forget anyways, yeah. <laughs> Constantine, how about you? Any horror stories? Horror stories, no, but I ate something yesterday which I didn't think I would eat. But, uh, oh, really? I, I ordered, like, a beef udon. So I tried to translate it, and it translated to beef udon. And so I thought, well, nice, I like beef and I like udon. And so I got it, and I thought, well, I've never seen beef that looks like that. And was probably it's like inner organs. Or yeah, like yeah, that, you know? trif trifle, yeah. Know, it tasted okay, but I didn't finish like every little piece of chewy, food. right? Yeah, a bit, yeah. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. <laughs> it was in Osaka though. So. It wasn't just liver. There's more than liver. Usually it's like intestines. And yeah. I won't, let's not talk about it. It might no. be. All right. We want to read beef tripe. Yeah. We don't want to relive relive that experience. But I think I was showing everybody all these izakayas around here, and this is a really unique place where you can find like everything in one spot. Um, the Nishi. Uh, this is the Nishi side. I always get Nishi. I think that's east, right? Yeah. South. It's, in order to get to Nishi, Nishi's west actually. So get to get here to the Nishi side, you have to go through South Shinjuku's South Corridor, through the South Exit, and it'll get you to the Nishi side. It's kind of weird. Shinjuku Station might be one of the biggest in the world. Yeah. Any advice for other travelers since I got you here? I use Google Maps a lot. I use Google Maps, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. perfect, but it helps you a lot. How do you access the internet? Uh, I have a hotspot with me, and uh, the carrier I have back in Denmark has just made a deal a month before I traveled over here, so I actually use uh, my phone's normal 4G and 3 So you did, wow, just normal? Just normal use. Denmark Telecom? Yeah, uh, I only only have 20 gigabytes on so my phone. That's, a, that's a, an 
enough? Yeah, it's, it's enough to do the maps and stuff, but don't too many pictures, don't upload too many pictures on uh, your phone. Yeah, do it on the Wi Fi. Yeah, do it on the the maps in Tokyo is quite good because if you like, say you want from your hotel to Shinjuku or something like that, it even says um, where you should uh, board the, the train, like yeah. from platform blah blah blah, uh, and then uh, car number three or four to it's, it's the best way to get out. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. It doesn't work in Osaka, I don't know why, but in Tokyo it's, it's, it, it, it's really good. It didn't work in Nagoya either. Yeah. Mm. Well, it didn't work there either. But still you will find your way around, but you will always get the wrong exit. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's quite confusing downstairs, so I always try to get up as fast as possible. Yeah, the yeah. basement areas are hard. Uh, yeah. I, I get lost as well. And with everything being renovated for the 2020 Olympics, I'm getting lost in the city that I've been living in for decades. So <laughs> it's... It's pretty crazy. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for tracking me down. If you, if you want to stick around, we can get a drink over here. I, I, I would just like a picture. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Just real quick and then I'm on a few show All right. So this is on the live stream as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look how tall you are. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're standing on my toes. Did it turn out okay? Yeah. You too? All right. That's right. Pictures are better when they're taken live. Yeah. <laughs> See, maybe get the... the, the yeah. All right. Look, it's okay? Have a nice trip. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming up, Constantine. Sure, sure. Keep in touch. Yeah, Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. You have some time? Yeah. All right. So I believe someone told me to go get an Asahi. Do you drink alcohol? Uh, it's a long time ago, but I can try one. Right oh, you don't have to do it if you don't drink it. It's okay. Oh, uh, I need to try anyway. I mean, <laughs> why not? I think it's been five years ago or something, uh, last time I drank. Wow, five years ago. Last time I drank alcohol was last night. <laughs> I had uh, half a glass of wine with dinner. Yeah. So we're going to end this live stream with a drink to celebrate. It's nice to see you. Thanks for checking me down. No problem. I uh, actually brought these uh, with me. I'm hoping to find you. I also sent a packet to you uh, a long while ago, but I think it's never uh, ended up at your place. It, that could have happened. <laughs> yeah. I, I apologize. No problem. All right, let's go inside and get a drink here. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, what do I recommend? That's hard. Everything's different. Um, well, if, if you don't like beer, the Chuhai has a really... It's sweeter, and but it's got a lot of alcohol. Yeah. If you haven't had a drink in five years, it's not... <laughs> no. This one is, is green tea with alcohol. Uh, I don't know. What do you... Is there anything you, you like? Do you drink beer? Do you drink... Uh, Okay, that actually is a is a good choice. It's pretty. It's a little sweet. It's good. Yeah, it's kind of maybe high in alcohol though. I don't know. You might want. I'll tell you. Oh, oh, this one's okay. Three percent. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the the super dry because that's what I I was asked to drink in the super chat. So that's okay. All right. Yeah. This is a. No, this is on me. This is on me. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna treat you for helping us all out. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. One of the things I actually did was driving uh, those cars through Akihabara and that. Oh, the Mario Kart. Yeah. Oh, I've been, I've been kind of wanting to do that, but part of me is against those Mario Karts. <laughs> Thank you.
Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, we got more coins for Gacha Pong. <laughs> no, John, and sorry, I'm not gonna. I, I think I, my pockets are full of them. All right, here you go. Five years. Thank you. At least it's on a live stream, right? So. <laughs> I've documented. It's, it's been documented. Yeah. All right, I'm really, I'm really appreciative of this. Okay. Here we go. I got it, guys. We found a beer. Just it wasn't from a vending machine. Come by, buddy. Come by. Tastes good. Tastes good. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it is. Strong. I don't think. No. It's good. Not yet. So cheers to all of you. My dad, my father. Yes. You can touch it, camera. It's okay. My dad, my father said. John, if there's one thing you should stop doing, it's don't touch the beer to the camera. <laughs> and I said, why? I'm like, I feel like I'm, in a way, it's like sharing with you. You can feel it on the other side, maybe. I don't know. He thinks it's just rude. But T Tyler Compine, <laughs> um, shown, keep up the good work, buy a beer. Can one of these be the beer that you bought? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have another one. UFO Bob. Do you guys have any questions while we drink? Or else I'm gonna just tune it out. Prost from Germany. Yeah. We say Skoll in Denmark, right? Yeah, Skoll. 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 Ah. I did a show for, D do you know DR? Yeah. Denmark? Yeah. It's called Denmark Radio, Radio but it's actually TV. <laughs> yeah. So it's so effing special. It's called. You ever heard of it? Yeah. Oh really? That, yeah, I know that. Oh yeah, I was. I was. You could see me in it, but I helped to set up the TV show for them when they came to Japan. Okay, I didn't. Um, yeah, I had. I tried to help get her to eat um, fish sperm, and so <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, some crazy stuff. It was a good episode, but yeah. I helped. I was the fixer for that. And it was. It was kind of. It was kind of fun. Yeah, I didn't know. I would go home and find that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it, you can still find it in the archives of DR when, uh, yeah. what's her name, Christine? Yeah, I mean, it was Christine, I don't remember the name last name. Ah, oh, she's so down to earth, very, very she friendly, is. very famous person, right? Yeah, very famous in Denmark. We hung out a lot, so famous, very, very famous, but so cool to hang out with and just, you know, talk and drink and, it's neat though, like, I don't know who she is, she doesn't know who I, oh, we got Skull, Tyler writes it, Skull. People in Denmark are pretty cool. In fact, there's a bunch of DR, people from DR coming next month in June, and they contacted me every year to go out drinking. I don't know why, but I guess I'm in some DR database. <laughs> and if you're watching, just give me a call when you get here, okay? They know, they know who they are. Woo. They always bring a bottle of Gamel Dansk, too. Of course. I have three bottles of them at home now. Yeah, that's a lot. It, uh, yeah, I drink it slowly. <laughs> One bottle lasts two years. <laughs> uh, what's going on in Copenhagen? Are you, is that where you're from? In no, the... actually no. I'm, I'm, from, I'm uh, from the countryside mall. Okay. But I do a lot of work in Copenhagen. Oh. I work as a plumber. Okay. So cool. a lot of fixing water pipes and stuff like that. Yeah. So my image though is that the plumbing must be really old, because it's. It a... is. It's very old in Copenhagen. It is. But a lot of it is getting renovated. Okay, very cool. There are also on a lot of new buildings. Yeah. They're building a lot of new. So yeah, a lot's happening. So you get a lot of work. Yeah, we do. <laughs> well, so this is your second time. You yeah. think there's going to be a third time? I know there is. I'm definitely going to take uh, one more trip at least. Uh, next time probably with my cousin, I think. Okay. Then, uh, we were. I have been thinking about renting a car, a car and drive around. Oh, you totally have to. Yeah. You, you, wait, Denmark is on this side of the road, right? Or the other side? Yeah, the other side, yeah. That might be difficult, but it's, it's driving is like a totally different way to see the country. It is. I'm new to driving. I love it. Yeah. I'm driving tomorrow. I rented a car in Kanazawa uh, awesome. when we get there, so. I've also it's been good. thinking about it maybe what be easier to take a motorcycle instead. Oh, you're gonna Peter von Gommet? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, if my cousin isn't coming, I'm, I think about how, doing that. Instead. How come my cousin didn't come this time? Uh, he's coming in a month. 
next month he's coming. Uh, okay. A trip to, uh, along the east coast uh, with a tour guide. And, and I think there will be about 20, 20 people or something like that. Mm. Uh, and I want to do a trip with uh, what I, I want to see myself, not as a big group. Mm. I like to trap at an adventure alone. Yeah. Or at least do some adventuring. Yeah. What you want that day. I did some hitchhiking alone, and it was pretty fun. There's something about going out there and just doing it, you know? Yeah. When, you do, when you're out there on your own, stuff happens, right? Like, yeah, I do. A lot of things. People just come talk to you or invite you, and, and things you didn't expect or plan just start happening when you travel alone. Yeah, actually, uh, last, uh, yesterday, I went to Mount Takao. There actually was an older Japanese guy who starts talking to me. And we talked about uh, Denmark and why I traveled here, and everything was actually quite fun. That's the stuff that happens when you come alone. I, yeah. When I was hitchhiking, the same stuff. People invite me, and then all of a sudden, you're... I, I remember hitchhiking, I woke up in a town that I had no plans to going to in, in the ride's house. It's like, how did I get here? But this is really cool. It's just part of adventure, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So it's different than in Denmark, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Denmark is also a lot more expensive on everything. I think you could have... I, when I traveled around Denmark, I had people were pretty friendly. Yeah, they are. They're pretty fr outside of, especially outside of Copenhagen, actually. Yeah. <laughs> outside, but yeah, you can have the same kind of experience if you go out. And but drinking was really expensive in Copenhagen. Yeah, it is. Also, if you want to go to a restaurant, it's expensive. Yeah. Go to take a taxi, it's expensive. Hotels, it's also expensive. Expensive. Tokyo is cheap compared to... Yeah, everything is pretty cheap. <laughs> I actually brought a lot of souvenirs uh, I'm bringing home. The red hot dogs weren't too expensive. They were okay, right? No, they are okay. not that, that bad. They're not too bad. Not too bad. They have the thing in, on the ice cream that they put called uh, goof scum. Do you know goof scum? Uh, yeah. Uh, it sounds like scum, is, uh, goof scum. I love it. Scoo, also called scoo. Scoo? Scoo. Can it also be called? I can't find that in Japan. I've been looking for it. I, the only time I had it was in, in Copenhagen on ice cream, and I, I was addicted to it. And I would, ice cream? It was on ice cream. Goof scum. They put some goof kind scum. of goop, some kind of thing uh, on the color, ice cream. What color was it? Was it brown? White, I think. White? Like a marshmallowy. I don't know. Mm, it was, was a topping. It was, uh, really it, was, it was not white and brown? No. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I rem if I could taste it, I would remember. I can't. All I know is that they called it goof scum. I laughed. I ate it. I stopped laughing. And I loved it. And now I miss it. Yeah. End that's, of story. That's the also, end. That's also what I do when I get home uh, with the Japanese food. Yeah. Also, I especially I really like curry. Okay. Uh, and okonomiyaki. I really like those two things. Oh yeah. Do they have Japanese food in Denmark? I'm sure they uh, do. They do, but it's all in Copenhagen and pretty expensive. Mm. <laughs> and it's not easy to get in from where I am to Copenhagen. Yeah. Or at least if you park, you'll probably get a ticket or it's pretty expensive. <laughs> Copenhagen is a pretty good city too. Um, they have the mermaid statue. I think someone had cut off her head when I was there or something. That's happened too. That's happened before. <laughs> Somebody cut off the mermaid's head when I was there. It wasn't me. Toby did it. Are you sure? Yeah, it wasn't me. Seriously. Government of Denmark, it was someone else. It wasn't me. I don't have the tools. <laughs> but if you need the tools, you can find it here in Shinjuku's Electronics District. I'm pretty sure that they have a hardware store somewhere here. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Well, thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to end this live stream. We're going to drink a little bit. But if you are looking for electronics, at sunset, you can see the lights. The lights are on when we came here, but they're a little bit more vibrant here. And I'm just going to show, I'm just going to show uh, you the view looking back. You can see more people are getting off of work looking for izakayas to go to. But that in the distance is, is the famous Tokyo government building. It was the start of the Tokyo Marathon when I first started running it um, in 2007, and now it's just just a building with a free observation deck. But this area of Shinjuku is one that a lot of tourists don't get to. So I highly recommend you get to the Nishi Gucci side of Shinjuku Station. Check out the Electronics District. Not just for, maybe just for map camera alone. It's pretty cool. And I want to thank our sponsor, Tyler, for all the wonderful things that you've done. Tyler, we love you, buddy. 
Ramsey Silent, Skull, I'm looking back at it. Kampai, amazing. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I'll find a way to get you your gacha pawn. See everybody, have a good day, good night, and 